my name is Lalisa. Thank you for what? Hi, my name is Lalisa. Um, welcome. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Go ahead and like it and subscribe. Why do people say like the video before watching the video? I feel like you're forcing me to do something. I'm not forcing you to do anything. Like it if you like it. You can wait to the very end to like it. But subscribe. I'm forcing you to subscribe. Yes, I am. But liking it, no. You don't. You have free will. But subscribe, you know? So, I'm in the Air Force. I'm a rad tech, which, for those who don't know, it's just an x-ray tech. I take pictures of your bones. Um, yeah, and I've been in for about a year and some months. I joined June 14th. I hit a year June 14th. Um, it is currently August, so... You can do the math because my mind is blinking. I am not in the Air Force because I'm a genius. I'm in the Air Force because I'm a genius, you know? The girls that get it, get it. And the girls that don't, don't. Obviously you don't get it because you're not that girl. Makes sense. Don't don't question it. It doesn't make sense. Um, See, the way that we're going today is recruiters, as well, maps. And then we're going to end with ship update. Recruiters as a map. Yeah, I had to make sure I said it right. Yes, that's how we're going today. Recruiters are liars. When were the lies end? Not all of them. Don't get me wrong. The first recruiter I had ghosted me. Literally texted me like a few months ago and was like, hey, I heard you went to an Air Force. It's too late. Sir, I'm E3. <laughs> Already been through AIT and all that. Um, but one thing that my recruiter did stress was weight requirements. If you are like, I'm not even overweight, I'm this itty bitty, but my waist is like this, you know. If you slim thick, as Fetty Wap would say, um, go ahead and check those weight requirements because you would be little surprise that you don't you don't need it a little bit a little bit not a little bit a little bit me i was i was surprised because i'm like how much weight i gotta lose because i'm not even <laughs> i was flabbergasted i was 196 at the time i had to drop down to 166 166 I took a year off, um, but I was stuck at 180, and I had three months to get from 180 to like 160. I, don't ask me why I had a took it. I took a year off, and I only got down to like 180. I started plateauing, and I wasn't really caring up too much. Like I was caring to lose weight, but I was still not eating right because I'm like, nah, nah, nah. If I just keep working up, no, it was crunch time. I ate nothing but green salads and vegetables and drank nothing but water for those three months just to get down to 166 because I procrastinated. Procrast pro pro what? Procrastinated. Um, and then after I really got my weight where I needed to be, I took the ASVAP. And I took that like a good three times. First time I took it, I got a 60, and I was like, no, I'm going to take it again because I went 80. Um, I scored higher in there. Like, you need to take a confirmation test, and I took the confirmation test, and then knocked me into the root as well, and I failed it, and I got a 30. So I guess I took it, like, four times. Like, I was four times, four times. And then I was just like, all right, I'm going to just... Let's just say I got a high enough score to get a medical job. And my job at the time that I came in for it was aerospace medical, um, which is like a nurse, kind of a nurse slash EMT assistant nurse, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, so that's, I guess I kind of led into MEPS. So this is great. We're on track because it's, um, so I talked about the ASVAB. Now we're on MEPS. <sighs> Sorry, I talked about the weight requirements. Once you get the MEPS, they weigh you again. You get weighed like a good three times. So this is my second time being weighed. They're like, okay, great. You're push you're really close to it because your max is 170, but you're 166. Watch out for that. You know, 
for your for your ship out there. And I said, okay, thank you. And then after that, we did our physical, pee in a cup. There are some people who were too scared to pee in a cup. I, I was people. I was people. I was shy. But after going through basic training, you won't be shy to do nothing. You will pee, poop, shower in front of like 40, 30 girls. Ew! And it will be nothing. You will probably sit next to somebody while peeing and have a full-blown conversation with them. It is normal now. Or be butterball naked. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? In, in the shower. Y'all all singing together. Kumbaya. Can I borrow yourself, Lindsay? Yeah. It don't matter. So, peeing, knock that out. Um, There was one dude, and he was like, I can't pee. And the lady was like, why? I, I get, I don't know, I'm just, I just can't pee. And he was like, she was like, well, you're not going to make it far in the military if you get shy and can't pee. And he walked away and they were talking so much mess about him, making jokes about him. I felt bad, but I'm not here for him. I'm here for me. I have one more obstacle I have to come through. And it was the questionnaire. So after you do your little duck walk, you are in the room with this lady and she's like, is there anything we need to know about? And I'm like, what do you mean? She's like, there's nothing at all. Cause you know, we're gonna go in your file. We're gonna see it. But yeah, she's like, we're gonna go in your file. We're gonna go back a year and see all this out. And I'm like, all right, I have an IUD. And she was like, okay, cool. When was your last period? And I said, I'm not too sure because the IUD stopped my period. And it was like, why did they give you an IUD to stop your period? And I was like, I had to get a blood transfusion. And she was like, oh, we had a conversation. And I was like, this isn't going to stop me from being in the military. Like, I really need this. And she was like, no, you're fine. Just go get paperwork from the gynecologist or your doctor saying that this situation will happen again. And you're, you're like, you're okay. You're cleared. And I was like, okay, thank you. So they sent me back home. And then they brought me back here <clears throat> to MEPS a week later. Um, and I gave her the paperwork and she stamped it approved. I signed my six-year contract. I raised my right hand to do my mock swearing. The, the, the recruiter in the back. That's not what they call them. They call them this one word that I cannot say, and I'm not about to mess it up. Like all of my friends make fun of me every time I try to say it. I'm not saying it, but it's gonna be somewhere on the screen somewhere. Um, so they got what they call them. They call me to the back, and they're like, "Hey." The job you want isn't available. You may want to do security forces. I said, I'm not doing a police officer job. I want a medical job. If I can't, you know, get the journalist job that I want, I want a medical job. And they're like, okay, we'll see what we can do. You want to try pest control? <laughs> Where did you get pest control from? Where did you get that from? Didn't I just say medical? Did I play with me? Don't you. I said, I want a medical job. Get me a medical job. So he's like, we'll see what we can do. No promises though, whatever. He also did not care. He was like cussing and like doing other things and not really caring that I was in the office. And I was like, I don't know if it's, if it's cause I'm a woman or because I'm being difficult. I'ma just say it's because I'm a woman. <laughs> what ends up happening is I get sent back home and I'm waiting cause I'm in a delayed entry program waiting for results on like my job and all that. So I get a phone call a week later and he's like, hey, Aerospace Medical just opened up. You can, you know, you're going to ship out in two months. Great. June 14th, I'm out of here. You know, I tell my mom, my mom's like, yeah, see, this is why you don't just you be anxious for nothing. Like, don't give them the benefit of the doubt when they're like, yeah, you can't have this job. Keep pushing. Tell them that you're not just going to take anything because y'all want to meet y'all numbers. And my dad was just like, yeah, good job. You know, I don't remember everything he said, but I don't remember everything my mom said either because it was a year ago. But they were like, yes, yeah, you stood your ground. Don't just take any random job they give you because you got to be stuck with that job. And I was like, yeah, that was my ups. I didn't really talk about the whole hotel part. You stay in a hotel, you get a little roommate, they feed you. That wasn't really that important. Um, my roommate was Haley. She was cool. And Haley, if you're watching this, hey. <laughs> I said we're going ship out so you go to the hotel for ship out my family had a little go away party for me like the week before i think it was a week before 
and they were all like we're so proud of you i love you my brother had a little speech he got choked up i love him to death he's this is my older brother he was like remember pressure makes diamonds and i was like yeah it does boy did i not know how much i was gonna need that when i got the basic training <clears throat> it was a lot of pressure the, the pressure, pressure is, is getting, getting worse and then i should go like my family drops me off at this hotel <clears throat> in atlanta and if y'all didn't know i'm from atlanta can i really say that because y'all be tripping on me when i say atlanta i'm from decatur where it's greater and we have no haters okay oh brother this guy stinks so yeah so they dropped me off in this hotel and atlanta is the one i keep going to every time i go to this maps this base um and i get a roommate obviously we wake up really really early we get to maps and we're sitting here and waiting to ship out and they call my name and they put me on this bus and drive me to the airport and I didn't realize how heavy my bag was, so I did end up throwing a lot of stuff away that I that did was not necessary. Like, I was like, why do I got, like, 50 hoodies in here? I'm throwing them away. I don't need them. Um, yeah, that's really about it. I'm not going to go too much into details about the ship out day. I just wanted to just know, like, that little small process. Went back to maps. Oh, I did forget the most important part. I said they going to win me, like, three times. As soon as I got there, the ship out, you know what they did? Go ahead and um, step on that scale for me. I was like, excuse me? Go ahead and um, step on that scale. I was like, oh, oh okay. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so I step on the scale. Buddy doesn't even look at the scale. He's like, tell me the number. And I'm like, it's still 166. But like, what if I lie to you right now? What if I lie? You wouldn't even know because you don't care. But I tell him I tell him 166 because integrity first, airman. And he's like, all right, cool, write it down, you can go. And I'm like, you still not gonna look? I, I, me personally, I would have been like, okay. But he was just like, what's the, what's the, what's the, um, um, yeah. 166, um. Alright, you, you look miserable. You look miserable. Eat a snicker, because you're not yourself and you're hungry. Crazy thing is, he literally said that he does not care. He's like, this is my last year doing recruiting years. I don't care. Well, this is my last year doing that word. So I don't care. Um, But yeah, so that was that. I'm probably going to make another video speaking on like you know what i did before i got into the military and what i did after the ship out date because i didn't tell y'all this but y'all gonna have to bring more than one outfit like y'all gonna have to bring probably a good two because you're gonna be rainbow flighted for like a good two days what is rainbow flight so another video i was a warthog though so that's not even important because you probably don't know what that is yet. But I, I was a warthog, you know, lead follower, get out the way, warthog, pride, snore, snore, you know. Um, but yeah, that's, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching the video. Um, now I'm going to ask you nicely, please, can you please like, but subscribe. Yeah, I'm telling you to subscribe. You don't have a choice on that one. But yeah, go ahead and like if you want to. Only if you want to. Thanks for watching. Yeah, I'm a s oh, one more thing, one more thing. Your basic training instructors are not fine, are not sexy. You've been deprived from another male for like eight and a half weeks. And your brother flight, they're not cute. They're bald-headed thumbs, okay? You've been deprived from men for eight and a half weeks. And when you get to tech school, that boy you think is fine, he's not fine. You've been deprived from men for eight and a half weeks.
give it like two weeks before you find anybody attractive let let that let that that um the the, the blinds come off your eyes i don't know don't nobody's fine after basic training or in basic training okay yeah i'm a soldier kicked off my boulders and I